1984 Lincoln Continental. My neighbor was actually going to junk this car. He's been asking me about it for a while. He said, uh, you're into cars. I have a, a Lincoln over there with a good 302 automatic transmission. If you want it, I'll sell it to you cheap. So I, uh, I kept on putting them off. Well, the other day I was riding my dirt bike and I turned the corner to see some guys that were going to junk it, trying to load it up on the trailer, but we were having difficulty because it was so low to the ground. Well, I seen the wheels. I thought the wheels were kind of cool. I said, oh, those would probably fit on my, my Mustang if I decided to go with the classic look. But then I noticed the disc rear end in the back. I was thinking that possibly I could put that disc rear end into my 68 Mustang. But when I got home, uh, I seen that it was wrong. But this car is a Fox body, so it's a good donor for Fox body five lug disc conversion kit. Uh, so I had already bought the car and had brought it home. So I put it on Craigslist and decided to part it out. And I looked over the car. The car was mildew all over it. And I washed it, cleaned it up, and started to notice when I looked the car over, there was no rust on the car. There's no rust anywhere. Um, and all the, you know, the places that usually find rust on the bottom of trunk lids and doors and stuff like that and hoods and everything. There's no rust on this car. Any of the, the corners or nothing like that. And most of the weather stripping is good other than the driver's door has a, the bottom weather stripping has a, a rip in it. But all the window, window weather stripping is good and stuff. You see the bright work still good on it too. And the wheels actually clean up. I uh, started to clean one of them with the Brillo pad but I have never dull and stuff like that and maybe some rubbing compound I can clean them up. Um, so I looked online. The guy let it sit because the airbags were gone in it. And I looked online. I think I can put the Mustang coils and struts and shocks in this. And I have a set of struts brand new in a box. And uh, uh, So I might fix her up. I think she looks pretty clean. She did. As I was saying, uh, she does start up. I put a battery in it, pour some gas on that bottle body, and she does crank over. Uh, so the motor is good and stuff like that. Well, today I spent the majority of the day cleaning on the car. And uh, you saw, saw them in the pictures of uh, the mold. Well, I was cleaning on the car today, and... I know she's still dirty because it was just um, water and car soap. But she's not as nasty as she was earlier. Uh, I did get a lot of the dirt off. Off of her. I'm in the shadow. Hold on. <laughs> get the doors. I wiped down a lot of the car. Uh, it's hot out in Florida, so. The heat gets to me. I'm from up north. I still have that thick blood in me. So I sweat. I have to change my clothes like five, six times a day because I sweat so much. <laughs> but, anyway, it's probably in the 90s today. Same yesterday was in the 100s. So, it's hot to work on cars. I just wiped the doll down with that car soap and water. A lot got most of that moldy stuff off. Later on, I'll make some kind of solution. I don't know, bleach and water or something like that. The interior is old. It's leather. I know it's already dry, so it's not like I'm gonna damage it or something like that. Um, I didn't vacuum it out yet. It needs to be vacuumed and stuff. what I did today. Car soap and water. I said all the all the doors are clean. There's no rust on the car at all. And I've looked under the car and there's no rust under the car either. So I was like, maybe I'll just keep it. I'll change some shocks out. 
change those airbags or whatever, put them coil springs and shocks in it. Just keep it. The wheels clean up. It should look pretty cool. I know how to paint, so I can paint that over.